All right, good morning, everyone. So have a look at what I was working on last night. I got a few of these pieces carved out and I put in these security gates. I think that will just about do it. I was also thinking that perhaps uh, just for safety here, um, well, I put this in on the top because I was thinking I might want to protect against birds, but um, hmm, yeah, I don't really know if I should do that or not. It's just a bit of a resource sink and I'd have to kind of redesign things now that I'm looking at it. But I, I might put in a railing here so that we don't fly off the edge. Simple railing corners like so. And then just simple railing pieces like this. And that should do it. I just need to get this upgraded at least to wood and then get a couple of these upgraded to like cobblestone and I think we'll be all set. Uh, crafted a whole bunch more arrows. Good. I put the crossbow away just, just for now. I kind of regret buying it. I just don't think that we particularly need it. Just kind of like make sure there's no uh, wolves kind of left over from the night. Yeah. Looks all clear. So, okay, what is going on here? It's, um, hmm, it looks pretty sloppy here. I just wanted a block shape that I could easily see through, you know, so that, um, I could, like, shoot down with the arrows, and I think this is, you know, this block is probably the best for that. Uh, but this is gonna drive me nuts if I don't knock this out. And why not? Let's just go with the cobblestone. I'll just pull all these up and replace them. Okay, that's the last piece right there. So basically, I just, I think I'm gonna go with two of these like bent over pieces. So what happens when these break? Cause the zombies will get up here and then they'll start hitting straight across like that. And so they'll break that and there will be an interruption of one ladder space, but they can still climb up just like you can. If there's a missing ladder piece, you still go straight up to the top. So that should hold, hopefully. If I go to the trader, maybe I'll get some mix and I'll upgrade uh, like these two bottom blocks and some of the ladder pieces. And then of course these pieces here that are bent over and after that, I think we're all set. What do I have for wood anyway? Uh, not a lot, but probably enough to get this job done up here. Look at this. We got our first customer today. So I can't hit him for, for, for Jack. <laughs> I guess I'll just head over here and do it at close range. I need the wood over here anyway. Ooh. Are you, do you have the uh, see-through head like some of the other zombies do? Okay, the trader is open. I think we're pretty much done here. Yeah, let's go. Let's do a trader run, I guess, real fast. Uh, I was going to think about getting some wood. Now nah, we're good on wood. And swap this back over. Yep, let's get organized and do a quick trader run. I think I'm going to go check on Bobby, too, and see if he has anything good for... You know, that'll be helpful for tonight. Hey, Joel. Well. Okay, we've already checked the inventory, so I know that there's... You know, basically nothing here that we need. I will probably be taking that mix right there. Wow, that's literally all of our money. Okay. Hmm. Let's go check on Joel first. That way, I, you know, maybe I don't need 200. Maybe I only need like 50 or something like that. All right, let's get rid of this stuff. I'm going to sell off the first aid. Uh, there were some people that reminded me that I actually don't need this stuff in this playthrough. So... Let's get rid of it. Oh, there we go. We got all kinds of money now. I think we'll be fine. I'm still going to wait just briefly, though. We'll go check on uh, Bobby, and then we'll be back here to get that mix if needed. So just last night, the Alpha 21 Streamer Weekend event was announced. So that's going to be this weekend. That is uh, the day after this video premieres. This video will be out uh, Thursday and Friday will be the beginning of Alpha 21 videos on the channel. So this is officially my last ever recording in Alpha 20. So yeah, that's right. Basically, this series will have to get cut short in unless I die. It's, an it's entirely possible that I'll just die here sometime today or tomorrow. And uh, then... Ooh, look at this big long straightaway. It's like a big drag strip here. So in terms of the schedule going forward, what we're looking at is a probably a video on Friday that'll be the feature video going over all the changes and my kind of take on all of, all of that stuff. And then on Saturday, it'll be the new playthrough series again on Sunday. Also be doing live streaming on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The plan right now is to do a solo stream on Friday, a multiplayer stream on Saturday and a Twitch integration live stream on Sunday. And of course, everyone else gets access to the game on Monday. So, you know, I'm sorry that that's the way it is, but it is the way it is. So I'm going to try to, you know, do my best to make that uh, enjoyable for you guys. And then we'll also be doing, um, you know, full on tutorials. I'm redoing every tutorial I've ever made will be redone for Alpha 21. Which means uh, there's like, I don't know, 12 of them or something like that. Okay, I you'd think I would remember by now which one of these has the chem station in it, but I never can. Which one is it? Oh, cement mixer. Yeah, you never know. You might pull the schematic out of these. 
That's not gonna happen in Alpha 21 anymore. No more schematics. Well, you get schematics for mods and stuff, but oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Chemistry station schematic. All right, he's got the concrete mix that we need. Maybe next time. Why, why are there so many people outside? This is all freaking horde. Certainly sounds like it. Well, we're safe in here. Okay, Bobby does have the armor double pocket mod schematic, but uh, yeah, we're not gonna really need that. And otherwise, I do think we're good here. He doesn't really have anything good. I will take the uh, the mix here. I'll just take a hundred of it though. Ah, whatever, I'll just take it all. I got nothing else to spend my money on and I'm my time is gonna be short-lived on this world. What do we got going on here? Oh, a dog. Hmm. Can I kill you? Oh, I caught him on fire. <laughs> Burn. Here, this is the um, alternate possibility here. Run. <laughs> yeah. And I think we're good. All right, let's get out of here. This is, um, it's not really a dangerous biome because the birds won't attack you unless you're injured. And um, I, I can basically never be injured unless I fall down or something. All right, just stopping by to get a job here. We can do this clear zombies here at the parking garage that'd be an easy one because uh it's all open spaces <laughs> definitely up my alley we'll take some more risks tomorrow after the horde okay we're ready to roll this is the yeah, it's not the easiest one actually we just did this one in the winter series didn't we well we can just make short work of it then how's that And that would be it. Oh my god, look at that. I have three skill points to spend as well. <laughs> just in time for the Horde Knight, too. All right, let's have a look at that. Ideally, you just want to basically get another point into archery. That's going to be agility seven. Perfect. Got plenty of points for that. All right, and the main loot. Whoa. Holy, my god, I did not realize he was so close to me. Man, I got out of there just in time, too. I heard him walking up. I thought he was like... Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. I thought he was just walking up the ramp. It did not sound like he was that close behind me, man. He... He must have made good time over here. What do we get here? Ooh, a triple bot and a bar brawling book, which is good for selling. Scrap that. Okay. That's it for this one. I guess we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I think we could probably sneak another one in by... The time the horde arrives so can i make that oh i made it let's see what we get here robotic sledge sure already have one but i can sell that one and yeah nothing we need there jobs how about whatever kindly help me bookstore sure that's actually not too bad might get something useful for tonight really i think um I'm trying to think about what books we we really need i think the uh what is it the great heist books that like the one that gives you no encumbrance at night, or the one that gives you, you know, 10% more damage to zombies at night. That would be nice. I guess someone told me that I had the uh, Needle and Thread Volume 7 book and that I accidentally sold it, so <laughs> whoops. That's what happens when you get loot fever, when you're against the clock and you're trying to pick up all the freaking mailboxes. <laughs> Which one is this here? Uh, okay, this one's not too bad. I can check the vending machine over here as well. Should have a little bit of money on- nope, nope, that one's broken. All right, let's get in here. Pray for my survival here. I'm mostly just curious to see, uh, what the horde's gonna look like at that base. I really like that design. I have another base design- where's this zombie? That, uh, uses a similar, uh, strategy- oh, here he is. Yeah, similar strategy to kill the zombies, because I had, um- Originally, I had one sort of playthrough, one base in mind for the Alpha 21 series, and then I kind of pivoted and changed my mind on that and kind of came up with a different one. But that doesn't mean that the old one is scrapped and gone forever. It'll just be kind of reserved for a different time. So uh, tell me, what are your guys' plans for Alpha 21? Because, whoops, um, there's going to be a, a bit of a rebalance in terms of like weapons and skills. And so that's not too bad. Um, like, is anybody here basically going to try a perception playthrough and really give Spears a fair chance? Because Spears have been buffed. Of course, we all know that there's no power attack anymore. But, the, you know, they've been given, like, a damage buff, too. Like, a flat increase in base damage. It's uh, 40%. 
Plus, you get extra armor penetration now. So, 40% more damage. Is that enough to convince you? What if I told you that a steel spear did the same amount of damage as a steel club? What would you say then? Okay, so I found a handful of books here so far. Nothing... Nothing great, I guess. I'm just gonna start reading the books. Hunter's Journal, more damage against deer. And batter up, increases knockdown to the enemy. Headlights, aloe seeds. Nothing I'm looking for, put it that way. I'm even at a point right now where I'm not even sure that I want to completely loot this place. I'd rather just kind of like get it clear. Oh, is there a dog here typically? No, it's usually a zombie back there, right? Oh yeah, oh, who's that? Aha! couple of Tommies. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I got this. Just makes those scenarios where you run into a bird like that much less traumatizing. There it is, double pocket mods. If only I could get some sewing kits now, I still don't have any. Shotgun turrets, man, it's a good little run here. I've been, I've, I've been fairly lucky, I think, with the books and stuff on this playthrough. It's kind of a shame to give it all up. Let's see, and we've already had our horde, I think. Oh, there's a vending machine. Hey, sugar butts. I guess I'll take those, and uh, I'll take the coffee as well. Kind of replenish my supply there. And I'm thirsty anyway, so I'll drink the water. Oh, jeez, those freaking platforms <laughs> scare the crap out of me. You know, there's a new sound for, like, zombies falling through floors and breaking boards in Alpha 21, and it, it, the jump scares, man, they're a lot worse now. Oh, look at that. I pulled friggin' two fresh copies out of that machine there. All right, we usually... Do we have zombies in here, typically? Uh, isn't there a safe in there? I don't really want to break open safes today, especially with the horde bearing down on me. Anybody out here, typically? Wh where did you come from? When I was at the parking garage, there was literally a runner, like... I, I think it was a stripper or a nurse. I think it was nurse. Nurse zombie. Straight up runner. Not even a feral. Just ran. Okay, all clear here. Just, you know, when you get to the rooftop, always be aware that there could be a bird trap. Oh no, this is the one with the, um, the dog trap, isn't it? Got just the thing for dogs. Wait a minute. Just checking the compass there. Oh, jeez, what's happening? <laughs> oh yeah. I, they, for some reason these guys didn't spawn and now they can't get out. Oh, there's another runner. Oh, she, oh, there's my bird right there. Oh, whoa, crap. Yeah, I guess it was just, um, it just seems like a really fast uh, variant of the nurse there at the parking garage. Faster than that. Okay, well, I would have taken those steroids a little while ago and I probably would have stockpiled some more stuff. So, what do we got going on in here? We got dogs, right? Um, tempted to set a trap for them. I just gotta kind of spring him first. Whoop! Did I get him? I got him. All right. I don't know that we definitely need two, but here, take that. That's how you do it without taking any chances. Main loot chest here. A double mod. Getting lucky on the mods today. Otherwise, really nothing life-changing here. Gas recipe, wow, whoa, what a good playthrough, man. It's a shame, a shame that we can't go any further. All right, oh, we got one more zombie here somewhere? Oh, did uh, did I not, I just didn't w wake anyone up. So I was, I've been thinking about it. The reason why I'm not waking zombies up and I'm having so, such a good time with sneaking is because I'm not wearing armor. And so I, I'm not making any noise. My noise output is zero from my armor, which I've never really played like that before, so. It was kind of shocking to see how effective it is, you know? If you're, It just makes me think that maybe wearing armor is overrated. If you just do like an avoidance kind of play style, uh, you, can, you can do really well, especially with like an agility build with archery and everything. All right, I think that'll just about do it. Just wanted to uh, slap a couple of these mods on. I think my triple mod is in the bike. I forgot to put that on, which my bike is... Uh, over here. All right, what do you got for me here? Oh, another sledge kit. Uh, sledge kit, yeah, it's sledge or first aid kit. I could do the first aid kits and sell them, but no, the sledge is gonna be worth more. So I'll take that and that'll do it. So I'll get a quest from him tomorrow or, and you know what, I don't even think we'll do a quest. We'll do something a little bit more risque, like, uh, I don't know, Higashi Tower or something like that. All right, park the bike anywhere, grab whatever's inside. Do I really need these? Mm. 
It would be nice, but I, don't, I can't even craft steel arrows unless I get a workbench. You know, the other day I was doing some testing between uh, what's better, a steel arrow regular or a steel flaming arrow. And I found out that the flaming arrow, you know, with the damage over time from the fire actually does a ton more damage. Like, uh, like close to double, basically. But then I was looking at the recipe for flaming arrows because I got the book to do that. Look, if I want a box of 100 flaming arrows, look at the animal fat and the polymer, the cloth. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. These are really, really expensive. It's quite a hefty investment just to get, you know, 2x the damage. And that's even if you're crafting them in bulk. Okay, and then we're going to upgrade this one. And uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to uh, get this whole ladder done up just like that. I, and otherwise, you know, that's that's fine. They're not going to hit any other blocks around here. Oh, except for probably ones like this. <laughs> yeah, definitely want to get that all buttoned up. It's only the uh, the whole entire base standing on this thing. What is this? This is just metal, so that needs to go up to cobble. I, I'd say it's pretty stable now. And um, I'll go one further, and how much mix do I have left? Oh, good thing I bought extra mix, because I'll just upgrade all of this then to concrete. And I guess technically this provides some element of structural support to the entire structure, except now I'm out of cobblestone. Ah, that's good enough there. This will have to do it. And if there's birds, frickin' hide, because there's not much I can do about it. There, uh, you know, technically there is. Hang on, let me get these torches set up somewhere down here so we can see what's going on. Okay, let's see what we can do here in terms of, like, uh, bird protection. So what I'm gonna need is a corner bar set up like that and just hope that the birds can't squeak in through the corners there there we go i don't think that obstructs me anywhere i can still make it up the ladder i can still make it to the fighting position although you know what i really this is where i want to be on horde night so i'd have to kind of frame this out so that i could do that which is going to be totally weird but that also prevents me from going over the edge which i like i can probably duck under it just barely. Ah, just need some protection on the top. I think that'll work. And with whatever I have for wood, I I guess, just kind of get this done up. I don't think that it would take forever for a vulture to get in here, wouldn't it? Look at that. We are we're pretty much good. I'm not too worried about the back end over here. This is it. All right, just got to get my inventory organized and we're good to go. All right, last thing to do, I just crafted up some more iron arrowheads. I'm going to craft those into a box of arrows. Four minutes. That'll put us over the the beginning of the horde, but I should have plenty in the meantime. Plus, I've got the iron crossbow. So, my friends, the day five horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. Alright, just as- Oh my goodness, they can get right up here! Holy crap! Oh my god! Nope, nope, nope! Oh shoot, guys! I didn't- I thought that that would block them. Why did it block the original- You know what? They're getting pushed from behind. That's why. Uh-oh. This is not good. Okay, we just have to get into position here and lay down some suppressing fire. Try to knock them off the ladder because they're just getting pushed up from the bottom. Yep, and then just get out of the freaking way when they get to the top. Oh, no, they're climbing on each other's backs. That's what it is. Oh, bad news. Bad, bad news. There's got to be a different sort of lock shape solution to this. Whoa, <laughs> get down, man. Oh, boy. This is a little bit anxiety provoking. Okay, it does appear, perhaps, that they're going to have a hard time getting inside here. So maybe... This is going to work after all, and I can actually just kind of shoot them from safety back here to some degree. Oh, what I would give for a bottle of recog right now, that would be nice. Also, I do have the pipe bombs, but it doesn't appear that they're clustering up very much. This is actually... Yeah, okay, they're still coming in. I was going to say it might be over or close to it, but no, they're rolling in still. Oh, come on. Okay, I do want to see, like, what you do. Make sure I'm, uh, reloaded on the, the whole AK-47 front. Also, 
We do have the crossbow we could turn to. Definitely better for those like one-shot head headshot kills. Also, seems to be better with the knockdown too. Okay, we're doing good here. I'm just gonna test out a pipe bomb down below. See how that looks. Pretty bad, actually. Oh boy. Uh, yep. Get back, get back. <laughs> it's working well. Oh man, that might have been close right there. She just took a swing right as I killed her. Yeah, all we've got to do to make this work is figure out, instead of, oh, that's it for arrows right there. Give me that uh, box open. There we go. We just need to figure out, you know, it can't be the bent over thing. It has to be a full block shape, you know, like a trussing or something like that. It'll work just fine. I think still, if we can just um, get them to not kind of clamber over the side. Also, if this was kind of enclosed, like there were like block shapes all around it, I think it would work a lot better as well. That's not a job for today though. Today it's all about killing these zombies. And, oh, can I get that loot bag out of there? I guess not. Bo knocked it down for me. Get out of here, Tommy. What are you doing? All right, there can't possibly be very many zombies left. I mean, I've, I've killed a whole bunch. Look, I've got like four loot bags down there. That is, that's that would be a good night for a day seven horde, let alone a day five horde. There's uh, five loot bags right there, I think. Unless there's more. I think that was it though. Seems all quiet. Just gonna run down here and get my arrows back. Wow, man, <laughs> that was crazy. Look, they didn't even get through this first piece here either. Yeah, this is going to be an OP base design once I get all the, uh, the, the, the little kinks worked out, you know what I mean? A whole bunch of brass, and that seems to be just about it. Okay, well, the good thing about Horde Knight, if you finish early, that is, is that there can be no zombies out in the world. Like, uh, ambient zombies and animals are turned off. It's, I guess it's a way of, you know, saving on performance, but we're completely safe to go straight downtown if we want to. Well, there it is. The blood moon has set, and, uh, the sun has risen, so I guess we're good to go here at <laughs> Akashi Tower. Uh, I've kind of dreading this, but, uh, why not? Let's just give it a try. So, I, uh, I did pick up a Yucca Juice smoothie out of, um, a shopping cart around here somewhere, and I made a couple of stone arrows just to have a few extra, but let's get in here and see what happens. Okay, all kinds of zombies in here. Should be able to get the drop on some of them, although, historically, they all just kind of jump out at you. For me, anyway. I guess we'll be able to- Oh, that's a feral be able to put the uh the whole no armor no noise thing to the test another feral right there yeah i'm gonna be dead so fast in here <gasps> a dog as well another dog in there oh no well oh hello yeah if i break the glass he wakes up if i duck my head in here probably he also wakes up oh and can i even get an angle on him barely maybe Nope. And I did wake up the zombies. That's okay. I can bring the zombies out here. Probably a feral. Nope. We're good. Hey, there we go. Skill points. Oh, by the way, I was going to spend that into agility. That'll give us extra headshot damage and such. I don't suppose I could do this. Could I? I could do it all along. Look at that. Okay. Are we just suddenly clear down here? I That went far better than I suspected it would. Oh, a couple more. <laughs> level one clear, only like seven to go, right? All right, up we go. The The upper level here is not so bad because we have uh, more room to operate. Yeah, these rooms here are just filled with zombies though. Put one way down there, send one for him. All right, woke somebody up. Who do we got? Businessman and another. One more. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Turned him into a runner. He got mad at me. Well, things are going uh, quite swimmingly so far. Just kind of ferals. Ferals are really the big threat right now. Any drinks in here? Well, we got the yucca juice. I don't have any money anyway. Scratch that. Some coffee in there though. That's good. I might just top off, if anything, just for the stamina regen so I can run a little bit better. We should have four, three, four zombies in here. Yeah. Man, archery is friggin' smooth, isn't it? Never thought I'd ask before, but can I get some arrows out of here? Of course not. 
Not when you need him, right? Oh, here we go. We've got a feral in here. We just gotta quickly see if we can get a whoop, leg shot on him. Oh, there's a spider down here too. I don't want to mess around with that guy, honestly. Where'd businessman go? He's up there. Okay. Did you land that, seriously? Well, that should slow him down considerably. There, Feral's down. Down. Whole bunch of people. I think I might not have cleared out the bottom level as well as I thought I did. Well, it's clear now. There's a couple zombies outside. I think that uh, the AK-47 fire will come up when I killed that spider. Okay, some breakfast here. You know what? I've got plenty of drinks. I might as well take that steroid and give myself a little bit extra run speed as we head up to level three. Oh yeah, this is a real nail biter room in here, isn't it? Possibly a feral there. Indeed. I Did I hit him in the knee? Well, killed him anyway. I guess we're good. One there. Oh, one more. Another feral. Oh my god. It's just a matter of time, guys. It, place your bets. How long is it going to be? Oh, yep. We got a dog here somewhere. You're right behind this door. Okay. Oh, we're going to do it. Two pipe bombs should do it. One, two, three. Open and run. Killed at least a couple here. Whoa. More than a couple. I killed like four zombies there. Five and a dog. Okay. Wait. Check that loot bag. Oh, nice wrench in there. Holy crap. Whew. Okay. Taking a break here. Dry my palms off a little bit. Okay, I don't have memory of this room here being terribly bad. I think we've gotten through the worst of it on this floor here. Maybe not. Oh, that was uh, not in the knee. Oh, crap. Run. Come and get it. Come and get it. Okay, got him in the knee. I think I did anyway. Okay, we're going to just save the 7.62 for... Those, uh, feral charges. Oops, is that a feral down there? I... I can't tell. It looks like we got all regulars down here. Nope, there's one feral. Let him through. Good, and then just get the kills here if we can. Oh, a miss of all times. Oh, they're all fast. There's another feral too. That's one down. In the knee- Nope, nope, nope! Crap! Oh my god, that was close. Die. He's not dead. Come on, get an arrow. Kill. Whew. Okay, what, do we, what else we got here? Regular walkers. Elevator to ladder to level four. Yes, the chem lab. Okay, so this is where I think we start to get into the feral white territory. All right, if they're in these little containers, we're not going to get the drop on them. Oh my god, feral white. Run. Oh, shit. Oh god. Oh my god, that was close. Found him. There he is. I don't think- they have a really hard time on these destruction blocks trying to get through! Oh, jeez! No! <laughs> Not in the freaking freaking bathroom stall! Okay. I got just the thing for this guy. I, in fact, I'm just gonna do one for him. Open! There we go. Because I can then run up and get the kill on him. Two skill points to spend. How about agility? Yeah, isn't there a spot here where you gotta kill like three of those guys at once? <laughs> Not gonna happen. Oh yes, in this room here. This is a deadly, deadly room here. Partly because I think it's a trigger area here? Wooden hatch. Craft. I don't have a hammer or anything, but um, I could just set that up just in case. There's, no there's nothing in here. I mean, maybe off chance I get a recog or something, but... Nothing terribly important. Oh, we could just jump out the window. Oh, okay, zombie there. I get a drop on him over here. Oh, one right there, okay. Let's see if I can get the drop on him from over here. Good, got another one here. Okay, skateboarder boy. I haven't seen any ferals yet. Oh, jeez, that was freaking close. Oh, there was another one right behind me there that almost got me. Okay, good. Oh, barrel white right there. Is there one in here too? Oh, yes. Oh, I've woken a whole bunch of people up. So hopefully I can get lucky with a leg shot. Oh, oh, he's just, uh, he's lost me. Go for the headshot then, kill him. And the others are like the construction dudes that, um, don't they typically fall down out there? Yes, or, hmm, it doesn't look like they're gonna be doing much falling here. Gonna have to kill him.
Go, no! Oh, oh my god! I got totally complacent there, and I bought the farm from a friggin' janitor of all zombies. Yep, that's how you... Uh, that's how it works. I mean, if you're on your game, I think you do pretty well here, but the minute you let your guard down, you're toast. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this one-shot kill challenge. I'll perhaps be revisiting this again someday, but for now, my focus now turns to Alpha 21, so I'll catch you on the live stream tomorrow and on daily uploads for the next, um, I think it's 16 days I have scheduled videos, so um, I'll see you then, guys. Take care, all. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.